Now I'm going to talk to you about extracting the wireframe. Now the wireframe, of course, is the simple representation of your shapes that you always see in the default interface. That is, before you use a shaded preview. This is the wireframe. Now, as it's pretty easy to imagine, what the wireframe actually is, is a series of curves that are connected together. Extracting the wireframe is a way to actually get at those curves. So let's take a look at that. In my Curve from Object tool panel, Extract Wireframe is found here. So I left click that. Now let's see what happened. I'm actually going to delete my surface now. And in this mode, in the wireframe view, it's impossible to tell that my surface has been deleted because these curves that remain behind are exactly representative of the entire wireframe. But if I shaded preview, there's nothing there. I'm going to go to my solids menu and pipe. Just to give you a quick idea, what I'm doing is selecting my curve and right click to repeat my last tool, which is pipe, right click to repeat my last diameter. Now, this is a 3D representation of the wireframe of a sphere, just to give you an idea. I'm going to highlight all of that and delete it, reset my viewports. I'll move this down here. Now, a wireframe will occur when you're working with any surface, polysurface, or solid. You cannot extract a wireframe from a polygon mesh. But any other type of shape, and as you can see, each line is separate. This can be very useful if there's things that you'd like to do to highlight your current shape. And then, of course, these lines are perfectly adjacent to each other. So you can use the Join tool to join them together. Extracting the wireframe is an excellent way to reverse engineer a polysurface or a solid, for example.